Hi friends, welcome to Faith and Fitness with Kate. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the books that I love and I recommend. I realized as I was writing um, the books that I have read and enjoyed that I don't really read classic books that much. English is my third language and I'm a very slow reader so one of my goals is to read more classic books, the early church writings. That is my goal hopefully in the next two years or three years when I make this kind of video again I'll be able to share some classic ancient <laughs> books with you guys. Even C.S. Lewis's writings I find um, difficult to read because I'm just a slow reader. So that is my goal to read more classic books and older books and I really want to read more biographies as well. And so yes, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first book that I love and I recommend is a book by John Piper. It is called Don't Waste Your Life. I've read this book to wise already and one of my favorite quotes from this book is this desire that your life count for something great long for your life to have eternal significance want this don't coast through life without a passion i found this book really challenging especially as a young christian living in this generation it is so easy to forget that while we only have one life and as christians we must be driven by the life that god wants us to live and have this bigger picture of while we only have one life, I'm going to give it all to the Lord. I'm going to live every second of my life for His glory. And so I really enjoyed that book and I highly recommend it. Second book I recommend is by my favorite Nabil Qureshi called Seeking Allah, Finding Jesus. This book is one of my favorite books and Man, I just love this book. I am thankful for Nabil's life and for his testimony. And when I was reading this book, I was learning more about the Muslim faith and it gave me love for for Muslims. This book is a page turner. I was struggling to put this book down. And if you haven't read this book already, I recommend it. it it's it has a lot of information about the Muslim faith in there, how to um, reach out to them and how to pray for them. And Nabil Qureshi's testimony is amazing and I highly recommend this book. Book number three is a book on spiritual disciplines and it is called Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life by Donald S. Whitney. I found this book really helpful in the way that I live my life as a Christian. It is a book on how to live um, a godly life. So that book talks about um, journaling, scripture reading, scripture memorizing, um, fasting, tithing, and all the disciplines in the Christian life this book talks about and I really enjoyed reading this book. I think I read it twice as well and it really challenged me in my Christian faith, in how I live my life and so I highly recommend it. Book number four is again by Donald S. Whitney. It's called 10 Questions to Diagnose Your Spiritual Health. So this book asks you 10 questions for you to evaluate how you are in your walk with God and so it is such an amazing book really challenging and the questions it asks you are questions like are you a quicker forgiver do you delight more in the bride of Christ the church um, do you love more and questions like that these questions reveal your heart and how you are doing in your walk with God Book number five is called In His Image by Jen Wilkin. I read this book this year and I absolutely enjoyed it. It was very challenging and she mentioned in this book that if you are someone who asks yourself all the time, what is my purpose in life and what is God's will for my life? 
this book will help you answer those things. Book number six <laughs> is called When to Walk Away, Freedom from Toxic People by Gary Thomas. Man, I learned so much from this book. This book talks about the biblical ways of how to deal with toxic people and to be wise in dealing with toxic people, toxic people at church or maybe toxic parents, toxic children and how to deal with your toxic self in how you you think of yourself and how you speak about yourself. If you are someone who wants to learn more about how to deal with toxic people in your life, I really recommend this book. Book number seven is called Enjoying God by Team Chester. This is one of my top five books. I absolutely enjoyed it. And Tim Chester is an amazing writer. He just talks about how to enjoy God in everyday life, how to enjoy Him when we are not at church, when we are just doing the mundane things in life. After reading this book, I just experienced this joy in my Christian faith that I have never felt before because I was more aware of what God is doing in my everyday life and so if you are lacking in your joy in your Christian life I really recommend you to read this book such an amazing book book number eight is again by Tim Chester and it is called decisions made simple i found this book really helpful and practical because we all struggle with making simple decisions in our everyday life what kind of job we want to do um what church we should go to and those daily questions and this book is really good and biblical and sound this book is very good at addressing those questions and i think that everyone should read this book because i know a lot of christians look for signs and visions and dreams for god to confirm their decision and god doesn't work like that so this book is really good in helping you to make decisions in a way that is god honoring number nine is called the cost of discipleship by dietrich bonhoeffer i found this book really challenging i really enjoyed it this book is good at explaining what discipleship looks like what the cost of following christ is just laying out the cost and um, the implications of what it means to follow Jesus. Very sound book and I highly recommend it. Number 10 is Follow Me by David Platt. I read this book this year and I enjoyed it. It was so convicting. It is so easy to deceive ourselves and think that we are Christians because we said the sinner's prayer and we have raised our hand when the evangelist says would you give your life to Jesus and yes that might be true but as Christians we must count the cost of following Jesus so I highly recommend this book Number 11 is called Jezebel's War with America by Michael Brown. Man, this book was really good and I've learned so much from it. It talks about a character from the Old Testament called Jezebel and how Jezebel's spirit is working now in this generation especially when we think about abortion pornography the feminism movement and all those things so daniel brown's argument is that there is um a jezebelian spirit that is working in our society right now when we think of those things daniel brown is good at explaining how Jezebel's spirit works and how as Christians we can combat that in our influence in our society, in our friendship circle and also in our own lives. So I highly recommend this book. 
Number 12 is called Out of a Far Country by Christopher Ewan. This book is a story of his conversion and his mom's conversion. So Christopher Ewan was a practicing um, gay. Um, he was arrested for doing drugs and for selling drugs. His conversion was amazing. His mom's conversion is amazing. Now he is preaching the gospel around the world. This book is just inspiring and I highly recommend this book if you have any homosexual family or friends in your life that you would like to pray for, that you would like to reach uh, for Christ. I highly recommend this book. I really enjoyed it. I read this book like three years ago and this book is one of my favorite testimony books book 13 is called humility by andrew murray i really recommend this book it's such a classic book it talks about humility and he mentions that as christians we ought to be seen as humble people reflecting the character of jesus Book 14 is called Sharing Jesus Without Freaking Out. I highly recommend this book. It's such an easy book on evangelism and it's very practical as well. Book 15 is called The Dawkins Letters. I think that this book is very helpful and useful, especially if you have friends who use the arguments from Richard Dawkins' book um, called The God Delusion. I think it's just a helpful book to read. It's a small slim book that I found really really helpful especially when I engage with atheists who would reference Richard Dawkins book. Number 16 is a book called Know the Truth by Bruce Milne. This is a systematic theology book. I think that it is very important for us Christians to know the doctrines of our Christian faith because when I first became a Christian, I believed things about God that aren't true and so it is very important to learn about the doctrines of the Christian faith. Number 17 is 12 Ways Your Phone Is Changing You by Tony Ranke. I've already talked about this book and it's such an amazing book. I think it's very relevant in today's society. So I really recommend this book. Book 18 is called The Weight of Glory by C.S. Lewis. I really enjoyed this book. I read this one this year and I absolutely enjoyed it and I highly recommend it. Book 19 is called Feeding Your Soul by Jean Fleming. It is a quiet time handbook and so if you are struggling to structure your quiet time and just knowing the purpose of why we do quiet time and just to help you practically in how to do quiet time, I really recommend this book. That is the video for you guys. I shared 19 books that I love and recommend. If you have read any of these books, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any book recommendations, comment them down below. Grace and peace be with you. Stay safe and I hope to see you in my next video. But for now, much love and God bless. Bye!